Hey guys, just a quick little video here. I'm working on these two trucks here. I got these a while back at the flea market. They do have some rust spots on them, so I'm trying to kind of touching it up a little bit. Um, I had some black paint, and I went to get it and use it, and the paint won't come out. I guess it was uh, too cold. Cause I had it outside up under the carport, so I brought it in the house for a couple of days. <clears throat> Excuse me. And if it doesn't um, <clears throat> start working again, I'll have to go and buy some new ones. And it was three brand new cans that I've had for several, several years. Never used them, anyways. I um also come across uh, a couple of other paint cans that I had. Which was uh, um, some John Deere green and some uh, John Deere yellow. Now, uh, these trucks have been black for a while and they come black uh, from the factory. Touching up on these little side mirrors here with silver paint. Um, this is actually... Uh, this is silver. It's gray. It's, it's the uh, the State Patrol gray color, but it looks kind of silverish. But I guess it's um, it's gray. It's the Georgia State Patrol um, color, and this is what that's what I got it for anyway. To when I do build one of my uh, when I build a State Patrol uh, police car, the Georgia State Patrol. Kind of touching up on the paint here a little bit. Um, but I had in mind when I saw the, the green and the yellow paint, uh, especially when I saw the green, I had in mind, I was like, hey, maybe I ought to change colors on one of these trucks. I hate green. I really do. Um, but uh, I was like, hey, I ought to paint this truck, maybe one of these trucks anyway. A different color because it doesn't really look right with both of them being black. So I need one with a uh, with a different color. So, uh, but uh, guys, you tell me what y'all think. I don't know if y'all can see that right there, but that that silver or the, on that uh, running board right there is just done faded and brown. That and that right there is kind of rusted. I know you can see that. And that one, so I gotta touch up on those. But uh, tell me, yeah, tell me what you think. What color should I paint? Probably gonna leave one of the trucks black. Um, but uh, tell me what you think I should paint the other color. Uh, the other one. What color you think I should paint it? I'm having a hard time speaking tonight. My voice is uh, crackling again. So it's been. I haven't really talked a whole lot today, much. Been by myself. Uh, went up to Cherokee, North Carolina. Messing around. I guess some of you saw the, the video earlier I posted up live inside the casino there. But I'm home, back home now. I started on my vacation from work, so I had the whole week off. So I have a whole week of doing nothing at all. I think I'll paint these things silver here. Can you see that? That's these little grill vents on the side of the truck. So I'm going to probably paint those silver. Uh, I don't know if they come black from the factory. Uh, but uh, Or the guy that I bought them from at the flea market, if he painted them. He may have painted them black. I'm not sure. But uh and it does look like somebody had uh had did some painting on these things because of the windows that outlined the the trim or all the way around the truck was uh like it was silver at one time and I can't really tell because some spots like right in here going up over the fender over the wheel. <coughs> Excuse me. Over the wheel it's all black, but in some other parts of it, it is uh, silver. So, 
I'm not sure what's going on with that. I don't know if y'all can hear a freaking neighbor's dog outside barking. Freaking troll. <laughs> These old rims on here are just rough looking. Really, really rough looking. So I need to touch up on those as well. But uh, these uh, these trucks are uh, metal ones, and uh, they have something similar to these, and uh, maybe a little bit bigger scale than these. They have something similar to it, uh, a little bit more different detail to them at uh, Hobby Lobbies. Uh, I noticed that a while back when I was at Hobby Lobbies, I noticed they had a couple of old trucks like this. Uh, I think they had a, like a motorcycle or so and an airplane that was like built, you know, out of this tin material. I guess that's tin. Swing around here and get this side of here. I was going to do this as a, uh, see that motor right there is coming off right there. I got to glue that back on there. I was going to do this as a uh, live video, but... I just went ahead and just did this as a uh, regular video, and I'll upload it later. Mm. I'll get this one here. Paint that center hub cap. My dad had, um, a, like, I think he bought like 12 these things i don't i'm not sure how old i was i was a, a kid back then probably i don't know between 10 and 15 somewhere along in there i'm not sure exactly when he had a, he had a bunch of them i don't know if he bought them from a single guy or, or what but all of a sudden they just a lot of them just showed up at the house and see the paint on that black bumper is just all gone, and somebody painted it black, and it, it just don't look right. It needs to be silver, I guess. But anyways, he had a bunch of them uh, lined up in the backyard, kind of close to the field. And I would play in them when I was a kid and play all in the back of them on the inside until like I was driving and stuff. But uh, one day, one evening, right before dark, I was down at my granddad's and he just lived like right across the yard and my dad come flying up the road the little dirt drive um, between my granddad's house and my aunt's house and then he went flying up into the yard I was like what is he in a hurry for and not long behind him was a state trooper just cutting the wind, you know, chasing him. And uh, my dad didn't have no tail lights on the truck. He'd been out uh, running his rabbit dogs at the time, and he was coming down the road and met the state trooper. Of course, he didn't have no tail lights, so the state trooper got after him. And I don't know why my dad ran, because I mean that's not him. But anyway, he he tried to outrun the state trooper. He was in an old truck like this right here. And anyway, he went up through the yard and down through the back field and everything and down through the woods. And it was getting kind of dark then. And there was another truck identical to the one he was driving sitting up there in the yard. And the state trooper got out and was looking around, looking up under that truck and I guess he noticed that the that truck wasn't the engine wasn't hot or whatever. And uh the state trooper, he ended up leaving. And you know, and I come to think of it now, I'm like, really, why did he leave? Because usually he'd be calling somebody to you know, like 
maybe county cars or whatever to come up there and help him look for whoever was driving or he was chasing, but huh, I have to ask him about that sometime. Anyways, wow, this video's already 10 minutes. Let's see, even the back window back here is eh, a little bit on there. Should have got my little thinner pointed brush. And the back window's got silver trim around it, which there's no window in there. I'll do this right here. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for watching this boring video. But anyways, tell me what you think. What color should I paint one of these trucks? I'm going to leave one on black, possibly. Tell me what uh, what color. I mean, I I'm going with the green, but the green with some yellow. But I really don't like green, but I, don't know, I thought it might look would, look would look cool on one of these trucks, that color. But uh, guys, tell me what color you think you should... Uh, that I should paint it, and you know, all, and uh, I'll uh, I'll look see if I can find some of that paint at uh, Hobbit Lobby or maybe Walmart or somewhere, and see if I can't uh, make it make the truck look a little bit better. Still leaning on leaving one of them black, but I'm not sure, hundred percent. Tell me what you think. Guys, leave me a comment, leave me a like, and before I go, let me show you, check out this bad boy. <laughs> I got this thing today, move this rag out of your way. I mean, that car is just so cool, look at it. That is a 69 Chevrolet Camaro, it has been lowered, yeah, I don't know from, I guess the representing ones, you know, lowered on the street, I don't know if they... Do they come off the semi line lowered or is these uh special customized um being lowered? Trunk opens up, both doors open, the hood opens, and there we go. Let's see if we can get, get it open. There we go. Got a chrome motor in it, but I saw it today in North Carolina. Uh, Get that out of the way at Walmart. And I says, man, look at that. Gotta get that thing. Tell me what you think about the paint, guys. All right. I'll check y'all later. It's Drone Life and I'm out here, dudes.